Okay, so you know I went to Woolmans, so from time to time we go. So, so you just love fun. crab? I used to. I used to. You don't eat crab anymore? Mm -mm. Okay, wow, that's new. Mm. Didn't know Lobster. that. Lobster. Oh, you're stuck. <laughs> oh, I'm ready to eat a more crab. Okay, so there's much to learn about the food we consume. So we've rounded up a few fascinating food facts to share with you. And we actually have some of the things right here, right? We're not just going to talk about it, we'll get to taste it. Yum, yum, yum. So, so first up, you do the first one. So this is probably the only food we're going to eat. That's not true. We're going to get a salmon unless they're oh, eating yes. stuff. Come right. on, you forget already? So demonstrate how to use your hands to determine portions. Okay, we're going to do that. That's, that's, that's this. Oh. That's not that one. You're talking about oh, fun food facts. Oh, Cucumbers. I rang the milk one. Cucumbers are nature's right. most hydrating vegetable. Yeah. In a cup of sliced cucumber, 95% of the weight comes from water. Yeah, isn't H that cool? Two, ho, ho. A study of post-exercise hydration found that reaching for a cucumber after finishing an intense workout may hydrate your body twice as effectively as a glass of water. I don't know if after I finish a workout, me I go on like take a cucumber and bite into it. Huh? You like cucumber like mm -hmm. that? Just raw like that? No. What have I put a little salt on it? I salt this, right? <coughs> Can I eat food? Are you choking? <coughs> Hush. Alright. Don't choke. Okay, we all know almonds are a healthy snack and a great dessert ingredient, but get this. I knew this. Did you know this? Almonds are not nuts. You know almond trees, right? And you see this big, this fruit, it's green first and then it gets kind of yellowy red. That's actually the fruit. And almonds are the seeds of that fruit. So, uh, more specifically, let me tell you already. It grow on a tree and it look like a peach. And when the fruit ripe, we take off the flesh part and the shell and then eat the kernel inside. I actually used to have an almond tree in my yard and we used to, um, we used to pick the actual almonds and eat the, eat the flesh yeah, parts. I, I and then remember. use a big stone and crack the, crack the wow. almond. Take out, take out the something yeah, like that. I used to climb seed. that tree. I didn't remember it was a fruit until Shana said to me yesterday. I said, yeah? Yeah. Climb a tree but you never eat the fruit, so you yeah, never man, eat the red trash. No, I just stone people with them. Okay, that's why mm. I get my first beaten over almond from right. my grandmother. All right, so next one. Ketchup. Ketchup was used as medicine. How? Oh. For diarrhea, indigestion, <laughs> jaundice. <laughs> so in 1834, Dr. John Coke Bennett added tomatoes to ketchup. Previously, ketchup had been a concoction of fish and mushrooms, or mushrooms. The addition of tomatoes meant it added a plethora of vitamins and antioxidants to the sauce. He, as he said, he claimed this recipe could cure diarrhea, indigestion. Stop! I Did you that. say fish? Yeah. Or mushrooms. Fish. Yeah. Ketchup. Oh my gosh, that's just, no. Okay, this one. Salt makes pineapples taste sweeter. Right. This is one I really want to test. Look, oh, I want to eat a pine. If you want something to be sweet, we usually sprinkle sugar on it, right? Because sugar is sweet. But they say adding some salt to your pineapples can actually make it taste sweeter. Sounds impossible, right? Okay, you ready? Right, I'm going to taste this one first. Okay. And then you're right. going to take a sprinkle. How much of them is sprinkle? sprinkle yeah. Don't say enough that. Shake us. Yes or no? Barely. Barely? Mm. Barely? Mm. So it's not worth it? Mm. Well, is that what you eat jumplum? Finish it. And then Sorry. tell me. You eat jumplum with salt. So, this tasty trick has more to do with our interpretation of taste than what's actually occurring. That's what the science of it says. Each taste receptor in our mouth, sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and umami. Okay, I've never heard of the umami part, but my daughter teach me the rest. Mm. Can work with another to suppress and enhance flavors. So, adding salt to the pineapple suppresses the bitter flavor of the fruit, which in turn tells your brain that it's more sweet than it actually is. So did that happen for you? After taste was sweeter. After taste sweeter? Yeah. Okay. Next one is they said that, that chocolate. Chocolate was used, was used as, as currency. currency. Like you use yeah. chocolate to pay for stuff. Yeah. I can see that because chocolate is wonderful. Chocolate is a wonderful thing. Okay, so your Hershey bar may have been worth its weight in gold in Mayan times, ancient times. All right. A new study reveals Give that... Give me a car. For this? Yeah, I'll pay for the car. Need one more. Get... Need one more bar. One more. Here. No, I need one more of that. One more of this? Yeah. And then I can get your car? Can I get my Cause... car, get the title. Come. That's for the car. Yeah, this is for the for title. That's for your house. I the title for the car. Come, one more. Oh, yeah, so the ancient Maya never used coins as money. Instead, cool. like many early civilizations, they were, you know, 
mostly the barter. barter yeah. yeah. So trading items such as tobacco, maize, and clothes. Can we go back to that? Can we, can I we, know. We that, that makes sense. Can we go back to that? Yeah. That makes sense. And they use cocoa. Europeans use cocoa to pay their workers. That's cool. I could make lots of my with that, although, you know, I ease off that now. I started having like hot cocoa. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's talk about honey, ladies and gentlemen. So in 2015, archaeologists reported that they found 3,000 year old honey while excavating tombs in Egypt. And guess what? It was perfectly edible, like you could have still eat it. Hold them knows it was perfectly edible. You think that somebody just said, hey, sure let me it. taste it. Mm, let's see if this 3,000-year-old honey that I found in here with the mummies can be eaten. Yum, yum, yum. May I the, try it, doing you, it? You would? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You fuss a drop Yeah, down. man. May I try This durability is thanks to the unique features of honey. It's low in water and high in sugar, so bacteria cannot grow in it. Do you know that's why they use honey in medicine? If you get a cut, like you can actually insulin. put honey on the cut to prevent mm. it from getting infected. You should put dirt. Lord have mercy. Dirt with the bacteria <laughs> on the cut. Dirt. That's nice. Honey also <laughs> contains hydrogen peroxide, so it inhibits the growth of microbes, again, with the bacteria. Hey, no wonder me used to get so much breakout from the skin. You know? Every time I get a cut, let's get some dirt and just put it on it. Yeah, red dirt. Clay. Sick. Could you read your popsicle? In 1905, 11-year-old Frank Epperson from San Francisco, California, invented a popular hot weather treat, the popsicle as we know it today. Yummy. However. We don't have popsicle, we have bread. We have bread again. Bread, <laughs> no popsicle. Yeah, however, the invention supposedly came about as a pure accident, as do most great inventions. Uh, according to the popsicle company, one cold evening, Frank left a mixture of powder-flavored soda with a stir stick in it on the porch. Because of the cold weather outside, he awoke to a frozen treat on a stick. And then he just went like, and then it was like over. And we got popsicles. We Ooh. You know which popsicle I used to love? Which one? Them have this popsicle with like the Red cut up, cut up oh. strawberries in it, with the juice on it. And then you just like. So I, I tell my mother used to work. Oh, out. look. Yes, yeah, so when you, that's oh, it. Okay. So when I was about to tell that's you, yeah, 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 yeah. So my mother works at um, worked at Sweet and Stewart. Crazy. So you said, then you said, give them something. Here. This is from Nestle. Whoa. Your magic dog. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, no, don't cry. <laughs> Guys, I think we have to go for a break. We don't want to see extra cry on TV. Over oh, icicle, we really don't. Up next, we're gonna go biting into the jamosas. We're getting food after this. You'll be okay. Mm. It's okay. Okay, it can still eat. We'll still come back, guys. Come, it can still eat. Come, it can come. Wait, no, it can still eat. Mm. <laughs> We're the right back. <laughs> Like a puppet on a string, no. Do your body like a puppet on a string, no. Do your body like a puppet on a string, no. Do your body like a puppet on a. I'm a second. Tell 